jump. Never had a brain for trees. Slush puppy kids swap brain for freeze. ES the game changer. I change degrees. Cause a blizzard anywhere I take my feet. Hey guys, it's Nibs Gaming HD here, and welcome back to my Pro Cyclist Career Mode. Let's finish off this Vuelta, I guess. Okay, so stage 6 is going to be an absolute killer. Hopefully I can uh, keep up. I, I really need to get my white jersey, because I've only got one more year after this to uh, make sure I definitely get it. And considering I want to do the Tour de France next year, this is pretty much my last chance to get the white jersey in the Vuelta. So uh, we're going to we're gonna go for that. Hopefully we can do something on this stage. It really suits me, that final climb is absolutely perfect for me so let's give it a shot and 3d race it okay so i've actually got minus one that is not what i wanted that's actually given me minus one hills minus one mountain minus two recovery and minus three resistance minus three stamina oh, this is going to be absolutely horrific hopefully everyone else is in even worse form because uh i don't really want to be losing time but anyway let's move to the front i think my strategy for this is just keep up the best i can and just go as hard as I can up that final climb. So, uh, yeah, we'll see uh, when I get there. Okay, so there was a big crash then. And uh, I've actually lost a lot of my uh, my team. Which is not good at all. In fact, the whole peloton split up loads. There's actually uh, there's only 18 of us together at the moment. And there's a minute to the uh, next group. Which is only 5. And then a minute to the next group. So, uh Right, I'm glad I was in the front then when that crash happened, but we've still got two massive climbs to go. I've got a little bit of protection, and I've also got S Simon Spielak in the f uh, in the breakaway, but he's pretty much dead now, so uh, he's not going to be any help. Oh, and another teammate's just fallen. It's just fall after fall. It's not going well. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have to try and stick to the front and watch for any crazy attacks or anything. There's Spielak just flying back. And he, uh, he's there to help, but he's pretty much dead, so he's not going to be able to do anything. I have got George Bennett here with me, though, so he's going to be able to help me, uh, hopefully, a, at least a little bit. This guy here, he's, he's actually doing really well. He's, he's pretty crap in the mountain, 68, 74, but he's, uh, he's managed to stick with me, and he's working his ass off to help me. But he looks like he's about to crumble any second. Okay, so, uh, oh, hang on, they're going. Are they going? No. Alright, what's this guy's... Oh, he's got 12 minutes, so we can let him go a little bit. It's not too important. Aru's here. What's he got? Nine minutes. Alright, I'm actually getting dropped, so I'm going to have to pick up the pace just a tad. At least I'm right next to Quintana, Jungles, Molima, Aru. Everyone's still here. I'm I'm not doing great. But uh, I could be doing a lot worse. Alright, yeah, the group's really thinning out now. We're dropping people left, right and centre. I'm starting to pace now up at 90, so hopefully I can get a little bit of a rest uh, on this descent. So uh, let's keep going. Oh, hang on, this is going absolutely crazy. 85. Oh my god. I I'm a yeah, I'm just about going to make it over the top of this, but uh, my resistance bar is incredibly low. Alright, let's just hang on now. Alright, yeah, only nine of us went over, so who's dropped? Alright, Jungles is here, Yates is here, Molimer's here, Aru... Poles. All right, so, uh, yeah, not great, not great. We didn't lose any of the big, big names, so uh, I'm just going to try and relax. And uh, Oh, I better get some water, actually, while it's a small group. And, uh, yeah, hopefully I can recover a little bit before this massive climb, because this massive climb is just going to be an absolute killer. I, I can already see it. Okay, I've got about 18.7 kilometers to go, and my bar is, like, half full already on my resistance, so uh, that's not great not great at all so um yeah i'm just i'm just praying i can uh keep this going to the top there's 15 of us now so uh barde caught up yates hang on which yates is which all right you're ninth so i don't really need to worry about you but where's the other yates all right yeah you're third so you're the one i need to uh keep an eye on and obviously Bulk and Molimer and, well, pretty much everyone in this group. We're all pretty close. You've got 19 minutes. All right, so not too bad. Oh, hang on. All right, you've only got seven minutes, though. So I'm going to have to follow this attack now, I think. Oh, is Aru counter-attacking? No, Aru's not counter-attacking. Oh, shit, I've lost the attack now. Oh, God. All right, I'm just going to have to pace, I think. Pace at 90 just to try and keep up with them. All right, now drop it back to about 85. Oh dear, this is going really hard. Really, really hard. Oh my god, I'm... 
I'm struggling. I'm struggling already. This this could be really bad. All right, come on, guys. Help me out, Bob Youngles. All right. Oh, my God, no. I'm going to have to drop back, I think, because uh, I've almost hit the max on my resistance. Oh, no, Bob Youngles is going. No, 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 no. This is not going good at all. I'm absolutely in... I'm in the Hurt Locker here. This is going horrible for me. Oh, no. All right, go 68, maybe. Use my energy gel. Oh, it's starting to ramp up now as well. This is when the climb ramps up. And it looks like everyone's just going to get time on me. I'm up. I'm absolutely... Oh, I'm, I'm doing horrible. Absolute horrible. They're just going away. Penal. All right. Mol yeah, so look. Youngles. Oh, dear. It's like the top four all up there. Gaining more and more time on me. And, yeah. Oh, dear. I've got 5.5 kilometers to go. And I'm already hitting my uh, my red like attack bar, which is not good at all. I'm going to have to turn, turn it down just a bit. Maybe 62. All right, we're catching them up. But I need, I'm going to have to turn it down even more. 58. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, God, I'm going to be out. Oh, shit. I've just hit the wall. Oh, no. I've still got like three kilometers to go. All right, I'm gaining a little bit back. All right, if I could go back up to 60. It's not going down. Alright, maybe 65. Alright, I can go a little bit harder. 68. Oh, no, I've hit the wall again. Oh, it's not good. I've lost loads of time. I've lost loads of time. Oh, I came seventh on the stage. Oh, dear. I didn't do very good at all. But, yeah, so I've lost even more time on the, the guys above me. That was a horrible stage, and I really felt it on that one. Hopefully, I'm in a little bit better form for the, the next stage. Okay, so, oh dear, I lost 3 minutes and 23 seconds to Quintana. I lost, oh, wow. Wow, that's not good at all. So, what's this done to the general? Okay, I'm still in 5th place. And now, Bolkan Molimer and Simon Yates have got incredible amounts of time on me. Yikes, that's, that hurt me a lot, that did. That hurt massive amounts. But on the under 25, all right, I've still got huge amounts of time on the white jersey so that's always a that's always a positive but um yeah that that's not good that was a not good stage for me but still i'm in fifth place and i've got about a minute on a p now still over a minute so that's pretty good but yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be hard to get into that podium spot now really hard i've i'm quite far down on quintana now so maybe if i pull a, an attack early on they might let me go just a little bit so i can gain a little bit of time on the third and fourth place so uh we'll have to see how it goes but let's go to the next stage okay so stage 17 is flat so we're just going to quick simulate that okay so the general hadn't changed at all after that so not bad let's go to the next stage okay so stage 18 is a hilly one and it's two pretty big hills at the end uh hopefully i should be able to not lose too much time here, but I'm in such bad form at the moment. Ho hopefully I can just hold on, but let's 3D race it and uh, see how it goes. Ooh, okay, so I've actually got plus one today. And all that's given me is plus one downhill. Oh, well, that's not too bad, I suppose. That was a bit of a, a descent. <laughs> but um, at least I haven't taken away any of my stats, so that's pretty good. I could have done with this plus one yesterday, though. But oh well, you can't win them all. But let's just keep to the front, and it's just going to come down to those final two climbs, so I might as well just uh, fast forward all the way to the end, I, I suppose. Okay, so we're on this first climb now. It's about five kilometers long, so it's relatively long, but it's not too bad. It's pretty steep, but uh, there's a real steep section in there, which we're coming up to. But I'm just going to try and stick near the front on this first one, and then I'm just going to have to blast up the, uh, the second one as hard as I possibly can. Alright, we've only got like 12 kilometers to go and the breakaway's actually got 4 minutes. And George Bennett is in there and he's actually at plus 1 form. So hopefully our team can even get a stage win on this. So that'll be awesome. I don't think we're going to catch him up now. And we're, he's still doing really well. So uh, th it could be a good stage for us. Even if I lose a little bit of time, still a stage win's a stage win. Alright, let's get right near the front. I need Simon Spielak ready to power on up this climb. I'm going to go like 90, I think, I bet. Oh. Oh. George Bennett's actually going. Come on. Get me right near the front. That's it. Should be like. All right. Let's just keep going. Let's keep going. 
Let's go hard. 90. 90. Should be that's almost going as soon as he goes. Oh, we're actually on our own. We're on our own. I'm going to attack. No, should be that. Don't come with me. You idiot. What are you doing? Oh, I should, probably should have used him a little bit, but uh, I, I'm not thinking of that now. I'm just thinking about myself. Let's keep it 85 pace. I've got 10 seconds. 9 seconds. Oh my god, how fast are they coming up behind me? Oh my god, I'm out of thing as well. Right, use my energy gel. I'm going at quite a pace though. 85, and I, I can probably keep this up all the way to the end. Alright, let's go 90. 90. Come on, keep on, keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. Oh, I've actually got some time. I've got some time opening up. Well, Poles is trying to chase me down, but I've still got loads, so I can go harder. Let's go like 99. Oh, it's actually Walt Poles. Oh, Walt Poles is, uh, he's still right behind me. But how, how much further have we got to go? Oh, actually, I've got about two kilometers to go still. I'm going to have to turn it down maybe just a tad, maybe like down to 90. Oh, no, they've caught me up. Oh, no, this is not good. This is not good. Okay, okay. I'm actually, uh, this is actually going uh, a lot slower than I thought it was going to go. And I'm uh, almost hit, hit the wall. 75, 75. I've still got a little bit of a gap. Maybe maybe there's a time gap. Sprint, 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 sprint. Oh my god, no, not a Quintana. He's going to overtake me. Damn it. So I don't think I gained any time there, but uh, still, not a bad result. I didn't, uh, I didn't actually lose any time. And actually, George Bennett won the stage. So we got our stage win. So that's brilliant. I'm real happy with that. Okay, so it looks like everyone got the same time anyway after me and the Quintana. So that hadn't changed the standings one little bit. So, uh, yeah, not too bad a stage. We, we got a stage win, and I got sixth place. And, yeah, I'm happy with that. I didn't lose any time. Okay, so stage 19 is a hilly one again. Uh, let's 3D race it and uh, just give it a shot, I suppose. It's, uh, it's not too bad. Maybe we'll try and something. Maybe... Yeah, maybe I'll try something on that final climb, and it's it's mostly downhill to the finish, so uh, we might get a little bit of a gap. You never know. We'll, we'll give it a go. Okay, so yeah, my strategy for this race, I'm just going to leave it right to that final climb and attempt to get away, get a little bit of a gap, and then try and keep it all the way to the finish, and uh, that's all I can hope for, really. Okay, so we're on this final climb now. I'm getting a little bit of protection, but he's gonna, he looks like he's going to fade away any second now, to be honest. So he's not really going to be much help. I'm going to have to go around the outside, I think. If I pace at like 85. And it's going pretty hard up here, actually. Harder than I thought. I thought I was going to be able to, like, get away, maybe. But at this sort of pace, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to. If I attack, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to get countered. This hill's so hard. But I'm just going to keep on at my 85 pace for now. And uh, hopefully... Maybe when I get to that steep section, which is kind of—it's coming up to a bit of a steep section now. When it goes around the corner, so all right, it's up to about. Oh, I'm kind of breaking away on my own a bit. Now I'm going to attack anyway, while I've got a little bit of a distance. Up to Spielak, who's not really going to be able to help me much. In fact, he just got in my way and hindered me. Brilliant! That's exactly what I didn't want. All right, now if I pace myself up to 85, well, what's going on? Oh, I accidentally sprinted. I didn't mean to do that. But I'm going to use my energy gel. And keep it as 85 all the way to the top. Hopefully I can recover on the descent. I'm still gaining a little bit of time. Oh, am I? Formula looks like he's about to catch me up. Oh, Molimer's going as well. But if we can get into a bit of a group, I might wait up just a second for them. Or do I keep going? I'm going to keep going. Hopefully I can recover enough. I'm going to go at like 60. And they might catch me up, but then at least we can get a little bit of a thing going. All right, so that we're together. All right, so let's, uh, we got a relay now and recover. All right, are they not going to go? No, it doesn't look like they are. It looks like they're leaving it to me, but... All right, it looks like the other group's just about to catch us up now. Okay. All right, that didn't go quite the plan. But there's only 24 of us now, so I'm going to... I'm going to rest a little bit, and I might have a little go on that tiny kick before the line. I just need to recover now as best I can. Wow, Team Sky. They've got like a couple guys here. Nice. Chris Freeman hasn't really been in this race, though. I'm, uh, I'm a little bit surprised at that. All right, I'm going to start pacing. And there's a bit of a kick coming up any second now. In fact, I'm just going to start attacking right now. 
Nice. Alright, we're on this climb. And I'm attacking, I'm attacking, I'm attacking. Is, any, is someone... Oh, I've got some... I've got a bit of a gap. I've got a bit of a gap. I can just keep going, keep going. Alright, now I'm going to pace it. Oh my god. I've actually got seconds. Alright, keep going, keep going, keep going. Ten seconds. Every second counts. Alright. They're catching me up. They're slowly catching me up. I might get a stage win at least. Six. Alright, sprint, sprint, sprint. Oh no, they're coming past me. No, I sprinted too late. No. I came fifth in the end. Oh, what a shame. What a pain in the ass, but uh... Oh well, it could have been a lot worse, I suppose. Fifth. Oh, I thought I was actually going to get a stage win then for a second. Okay, so that was a bit of a disappointment, and the general has not changed one little bit. I didn't even get my stage win. Okay, so stage 20. Now this is a hell of a mountain finish. Hopefully I've got some sort of form going into this, and hopefully I don't lose shed loads of time like I did last time, because that's, that's... Yeah, I don't want that. Let's just 3D race and hope for the best. Oh, great. So, another mountain stage and another minus one form. Absolutely brilliant. So, uh, yeah, this is going to be a fun stage. But anyway, I think I'm just going to leave it up to that final climb. Survive as much as I can, I suppose, and I uh, just hope I don't lose too much time. But, uh, yeah, let's just uh, see how it goes, I suppose. Okay, so we're coming to the top of this uh, penultimate climb. And there's still 60-odd riders here. I've got a little bit of protection. But not a lot. Simon Spielak's actually in form, so hopefully he can uh, do a little bit of uh, protecting me. But um, it's going to be an absolute killer ride with my form. I'm not sure how to uh, tackle this, to be honest. I was thinking about going then, but uh, it's probably not going to work. Maybe, oh, I don't know. I think I might have to go early, but there's such a big group here that they're probably just going to chase me back, and uh, that's just not going to work out, so... I don't know. I'm not sure. I might just have to just try and stick with everyone and uh, and hope for the best. But so I'm not doing too bad. Hopefully uh, Simon should be like comes back up with the water that he's going to be getting. Where is he? Oh, by the side of me. Yep, I got my water. Happy days. Okay, so we have eight kilometers to go now, and I've got about half of my uh, available resistance bar left. Yeah, it's a bit uh, a bit of a more drawn out field. There's not so many guys here. I'm I'm on my own now. Uh, George Bennett's up there, but he's going to be no help to me because he's already gone. We've got five kilometres to go, so I think I'm just going to try and stick with these lot until the... Well, I've got six kilometres to go for me. But I'll probably wait till about five kilometres, and I might try and pull a little attack. I don't know. Or I might just hold on. In fact, I am. I think I'm just going to have to hold on because uh, I haven't really got a lot to give. Well, maybe, maybe I'll pace off at, like, 80 now. I've right, dropped... George Bennett. Oh, I'm actually going to have to go a little bit lighter. Maybe like a 70. Maybe 66. Alright, oh, who's left? Everyone's still here. Everyone's still looking pretty good. Monomer, Aru. Let's just uh, keep going at this sort of pace, I think. And hopefully one of them drops. Someone drops. Oh, Pino, he's going. Alright, let's start going hard. There's only so, so long to go. Oh, I should use my uh, bar. Alright, let's go 90 now. Alright, is anyone getting dropped? I'm about to get dropped in a minute if I don't slow this down a bit. Oh, I've got a kilometre to go still. Oh no, I'm going to lose. Oh no, I'm going to lose a lot of time here. I can see it already. Oh, the guys are flying off at the distance and I'm uh, I'm dying. I'm dying. Oh, Monomer's behind me though. Oh, that's good. That's great. I always like it when Monomer's behind me. I've still got 0.4 kilometres to go. All the favourites have got... Oh, God. Nairo Quintana's already finished. Oh, dear. No. Oh, Monomer's coming up by the side of me now. Let's go a little bit harder. Oh, no. I'm going to lose time to everyone again. I've lost time to P now. Oh, my God. I've lost a lot of time to P now as well. Oh, no. Oh, dear. That was, just, that was horrible. That was a horrible, horrible stage again. I'm not liking this one little bit. These stages are absolutely tearing me to pieces. Okay, so, yeah, I lost uh, I lost time to everyone. So what's this done to the general? Okay, so I'm still in fifth place, but there's a long way between me doing anything now, really. I, I've pretty much, pretty much gone. Uh, Pinal's only 30 seconds behind me, roughly. 
So I, I've got danger of actually losing more time. I think the final stage is a time trial, so hopefully I should finish about fifth still, which is good. The white jersey, I'm still dominating the white jersey, so at least I'm going to get something from this uh, this Vuelta. But let's go to the next stage. Okay, so the final stage of the Vuelta and uh, is a time trial, so it kind of suits me. I'm probably not one of the favourites. Oh, Bob Youngles is actually... Wow. Wow, Bob Youngles is an absolute killer. He's going to dominate this, I reckon. But uh, let's 3D race it and hopefully not lose any time to the people behind me. Okay, so I've got a long time to wait, so uh, I'll catch you in a bit. Okay, so we are up. So let's get a good pace going. We need to just keep this as level as possible. It's a pretty fast time trial. And we've started off really well. We're pacing this fantastically. And through the first time check, we are eighth. Eight seconds down. Oh dear, I've actually got plus one. Which is quite good. I always get plus one on the days I don't actually really particularly need it. Because I haven't really got any chance of gaining much uh, time. And, uh, wow. I shouldn't really lose much time on a time trial. But, nonetheless... We are going pretty good at the moment. Let's uh, pick up the pace just a tad. Drop it a bit now, I think. Yeah, drop it just a bit. And... Oh, hang on. Let's raise it right up, actually. Good. A bit more. A bit more. It's full out or to the end. And... Oh, actually, I had a little bit left over. But we did get sixth, and we were only 17 seconds down. Oh, God. P now actually put time into me. Oh, wow. Oh, I didn't see that coming. Balcon Molimer. All right. I'll gain a little bit of time there, but that's not going to help me at all. And a little bit of time on uh, Simon Yates, but not enough to help. Bob Yongles won. Wow. He absolutely smashed it. And Quintana. Oh, he, he actually had quite a good time. Wow. Nairo Quintana actually beat me on a time trial. Yikes. That's not good. But anyway, let's uh, have a little look at the... Uh, so, Bob Yongles won the stage. Nairo Quintana smashed the Vuelta. Bob Youngles came second. Simon Yates. Volker Molimer, And then me. Wow. Not too bad, I suppose. Overall mountain. Well, I came fifth in that. That's not too bad, I suppose. Overall points. I came seventh. Nairo Quintana won that one as well. Brilliant. And best young rider. So I actually won a jersey. That's pretty good because I probably ain't going to do the Vuelta next year. And next year is my final year I can win the white jersey. So that's always good. Okay, so at the end of the Vuelta, I actually ended up 10 minutes down on Nairo Quintana. Yikes, that was uh, pretty painful, but we did get top five. That's not bad. We won the white jersey, which is pretty good. We got a stage win. So all in all, I think that was a pretty successful Vuelta. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. And obviously next year, we're going to be going for the Tour de France, the biggie. And then next season, I'm going to get my training schedule absolutely spot on. And uh, we're going to be in absolute cracking form for the Tour de France. Maybe go for the win. That's my aim. I want to win the Tour de France next year. But next up, we have a couple races. We have... Oh, the Worlds. I'm actually in the Worlds. That's quite cool. So that's a... Is that a time trial? Oh, so actually, I'm in the Worlds time trial. So that'd be pretty cool. I probably ain't going to be in good enough form to do anything in it. But... Uh, Nonetheless, that's quite cool. And then we got a couple races, and that'll be in a, that'll be in the next uh, episode. But anyway, that's it for this one. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Peace out. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, hit the subscribe button. If you want to keep notified, hit the little bell next to the subscribe button, and uh, like, comment, and give it a share. It really helps out. Cheers.